what up it's your boy what up it's your boy average no personality trader main Ooh. what it be what it do There's probably a lot of reasons you're struggling to make profit, but first we should figure out why you are trading up, which can lead to different problems, which I will talk about all the common mistakes I personally have seen traders make over the years. Oh my god, get the hell out- First off, let's try to identify the real reason you are actually trying to trade. What is the reason trading seems appealing to you specifically? Are you just trying to trade for a bit of side income? Some people just like their numbers to go up, and there's nothing wrong with that. Broke ass bitch. This one can usually lead to becoming more frustrated with people in trades more easily. However, just be careful not to let the numbers get to your head too much. It happens a lot more than you'd think. Guys that are irrelevant now, but hey, irrelevant. Irrelevant. Like, you're irrelevant. XD. Another pretty irrelevant YouTube. Maybe you just find it enjoyable to chill and hang out while trading. Maybe there's an item you have your eye on, or maybe multiple. A lot of people trade up to get items they want because they don't want to spend money on the game, which is really respectable. Let's talk about some reasons you could be struggling with making profit. Use these sites. This helps you find a lot more potential for deals than trade servers usually will. Trade servers can be useful for making trades, but are usually a big waste of time. Also, word of advice, if you see people advertising buying unusuals with Pure, they are just saying that they are buying quick sells, but in a dumb way. I'll save you the frustration of dealing with them. Being observant is extremely important while trading. I've mentioned this before in other videos, however, it's so important that I'm going to mention it again. Pay attention to what people wear. Usually the more you see an item worn, the more popular they are, which helps you get a better idea of what items sell more or less. It blows my mind how most people do not know about this, but there's a button on backpack.df that shows up on listings called Bumped. Click it, and it will change it to Listed, which tells you how long the item has been listed for since they put it up for sale. Hell no, man. This is extremely important for dodging unsellable hats. This may also seem obvious, but uh, just look at the fucking hat, dude. Like, if it looks like complete shit, it probably will be harder to sell. Have you feel funny? I don't know, just kind of makes sense, man. Look how many people are selling your same hat. This can be a problem if you aren't careful. In most cases, you don't actually want to undercut the person, but instead match their price and say you're very open to offers or discounting for full peer. This mostly applies to unusuals, but profit margin is incredibly important. If you buy something at buy orders and there's a seller a key or two above, usually this means it's either hard to sell or buy orders may break on that item soon. If you are only making a key or two profit, it's usually not that worth it, so decide for yourself if it's actually a good investment for you. These are commonly used, but others have found other methods that also work. This is a huge problem I see people fall into. Not everyone in the trading scene or the community is as friendly as they want you to think. If you feel pressure to do a trade, then that's a great indicator you do not want to trade with that person. Nobody that is going to give you a genuinely good deal is going to convince you it's a good deal because it should already be obvious that it's a good deal. Do not be afraid to say no to a deal if it isn't working out. Who gives a shit if they get mad at you? At least you didn't fall into a bad deal. If someone's trying to push you, then ignore them. No one owes them shit no matter how much their backpack is worth. This is the main reason players try to pressure others to make a trade that isn't good, because they fucked up and accidentally bought something they are struggling to sell. Paying close to buy orders does not mean you will sell something. You still have to make sure the hat at least looks okay. Check to see how long others have had it listed as well. There is most likely a reason you bought it so cheap to begin with. Be careful. If you're having problems selling something, then try making a nice set out of it. I've sold quite a few unusuals and items in general using this trick. Show off the potential of the item you are trying to sell. Tons of new traders fall into this trap, so let's talk about it. You do not have to get into unusual trading. Too many new players think they have to to make any kinds of big profit at all. There are tons of other markets in this game. Explore various markets. There's strange parts, painted items, spells, craft numbers, kill streaks, skins or decorated weapons. Get creative. It is 100% okay to be in multiple markets at the same time. I would even recommend it. It helps you be less bored and also gives you more variety of stuff you can sell. Do your research. 
You can't expect to know the market better without doing at least some research. The more knowledge you have, the more confident you will start to become while trading. Check the price updates tab. It shows what unusuals are officially updated so you can see what effects or maybe items have been more popular as of the time you are trading. Prices get updated every day. When asking for price help from others, make sure you get multiple opinions from different people. The reason you do this is so you can see who is more trustworthy, while also keeping you from making a potentially bad sale because of one bad price suggestion. I actually made an entire video all about various scam attempts I've seen which you can check out because I go into way more detail about it there. Alright, shameless plug over. It is very unlikely that you'll get an item that will sell first day. Do not get desperate, that's how you lose profit. People can see you get desperate too, and will try to make you go even lower. Be careful. Time management is important while trading. If you are starting to get impatient, then go do something else while your items are listed. Don't touch grass now! Sitting and waiting for something to sell heavily discourages everyone, so do something else. Play games, do hobbies, in real life, work, whatever keeps you entertained. You can make deals on trade servers, however, it's usually a waste of time. It can still be worth going every now and then, though. You never know what kind of deal could be waiting. Trading advice can be very helpful, but it can be extremely harmful if you aren't careful. Think your own thoughts. Let people help, but don't let people decide for you. That's not how you learn. Be careful about who you listen to. Use the knowledge you get from others, but never treat it as gospel. Even my own guides. My guides are always guidelines to help others understand what to do when they're stuck. It is then the viewer's decision what they do with that information. Everyone problem solves differently. Many times, someone can't sell something is because they are impossible to work with. This makes people unwilling to work with you in return. Let's go over three common reasons why people are impossible to work with. You expect overpay, which can be fine. Everyone wants overpay, but that's the problem, isn't it? You and every other person also expect overpay. Occasionally, people will give you overpay if they enjoy the interaction with you. Open yourself up for negotiation. People constantly expect nothing but full price and full pure, which is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. You are extremely unlikely to get full pure and full price on items, especially unusuals. People expect this then complain that they can never sell anything. Like no shit, I wouldn't buy anything from you either. Take item offers always. It's a pain in the ass to go out of your way to find more initials to buy and resell when you can just make profit from getting item offers instead. Getting item offers are usually better than pure in most situations, so don't be afraid to take a look and research item offers when you get them. Take risks, but only if you did the research on it beforehand. Risks can only be good if you weigh the pros and cons of the risk first. You do not have to take risks, especially if you don't feel confident enough to. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Double check before taking a risk. The worst feeling is when you're confident in taking a risk, then forgetting one crucial thing like how long they have it listed for. Trading can be a lot of fun, but some take it way too seriously. Making a living off of selling items should never be a goal. Although it is technically possible, but extremely difficult, since the time it took you to sell one unusual, you probably got a thousand dollar check from working any normal job. Have fun trading, and use trading as an excuse to talk and chat with people. It's a great way to improve your social skills and confidence over time. If an item is taking way too long to sell, try not to keep downing the price, since people see that and think you're desperate. Usually, everything will sell with time, so don't stress yourself over it. Go put your mind elsewhere. I mean shit, I'm waiting for items to sell right now, so I'm AFK in a trade server while I wrote this script, and now that I'm voicing it, I'm also still in the server. If you need to break even, or make a very slight loss just to get out of a bad item, don't be afraid to do so. If you are the only seller though, you shouldn't stress it at all. If you get undercut lower than what you paid, a simple solution is to unlist your item until the other sells. There are other alternatives, but this is what I recommend most. Do not depend on one item. That is how you get incredibly stressed out and frustrated. Having multiple items for sale for different classes too makes you more likely to get more traits. Sell items or unusuals for other classes too. Don't stay to a specific class. Have variety with your items. Be patient and understanding with yourself. Everyone makes mistakes. What's important is learning from it. The more you learn from your mistakes, the better you'll get at trading over time. Have confidence in yourself. Don't let people walk all over you. You're a person just like everyone else. Remember that we all started from somewhere. 
I've made countless mistakes, and I still make mistakes to this day. Learning from that mistake is what makes it worth it. No, but seriously, don't be too hard on yourself. We all start from somewhere. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, then I apologize for wasting your time. Either way, you have a great day or night. Be safe, be kind, and have fun trading.